Welcome to Jade's Mines, everybody. Um, what can I say? Well, this isn't necessarily a very tough mission. It's pretty easy to get lost in these mines because there's no map in this game and there are no maps on the internet. Remember, this is an obscure ass PlayStation 1 RPG made by late era Sunsoft. Like, this doesn't exactly have a massive following. So, yep, yeah, in case you can't remember, we are looking for a rare herb. And we have to deliver this herb to the item shop owner. And effectively, it's just going to be a lot of fo footage of me basically wandering around this dark mine and occasionally getting into fights. Yay, RPG! You notice I paused for a brief second now, I really want you guys to listen to the sound. Uh, the music in this area in particular is very repetitive and not the strongest part of the soundtrack for this game if I'm being honest. Oh, here we go, a trolley station? That's not a trolley station, that's a minecart station, you idiot. Wow, if I can find the minecart, it would be easy for me to get around. Well, no shit, Sherlock. So yeah, basically you're going to be seeing me effectively trying to uh, get onto the actual tracks and not being able to because there's no minecart. I suppose I should talk a little bit about the monsters that inhabit these mines, or at least the first part of the mines. Um, they're not that threatening, to be honest. Oh, and by the way, that treasure chest there? I need to get that. And you'll see why later. But it's very important I collect that treasure chest. But yeah, um, effectively, you just end up walking around a lot, collecting chests, occasionally getting attacked by monsters but the actual monsters in this part of the mine anyway aren't too threatening and the encounter rate's not too high thankfully like can't imagine what it would be like if you like had to fight monsters every couple of rooms it'd be kind of annoying actually it's also pretty easy to get lost here because everywhere looks the fucking same but I already said that so Anyway, I know it's a little early to start deciding what I'm actually going to let's play next after I finish this game. I've been giving it some consideration. Um, originally I was going to do Deadly Premonition on the Xbox 360, but pretty much everyone's done that game, so that would be a bit pointless. As much as I love giving uh, as much of the limelight to budget releases as I can on any console, especially weird budget releases, games that are a bit offbeat and crazy, um, that game's pretty much been covered, um, the Giant Bomb Endurance runs are actually very very good for that, like if you've not seen them I strongly suggest you check out the, the Vinny and Jeff let's play of that game, um, you'll see in the actual Giant Bomb website, click on videos, click on Endurance Run, then go to the very first VJ video that you see it should be VJ01 and keep watching them in sequential order because it's fucking great it really is, the story is well worth playing and the gameplay which is the weakest part of that game you don't have to put up with because they go through it all for you they're not very thorough but they do get some of the side missions out of the way but they don't do everything Anyway, I should really focus on this fight. Um, this isn't actually too difficult of a fight. You got two of these wolf things and one of these weird, like, eagle bird zombie things. I'm not even sure what you'd call that thing on the right, actually. It's a bit weird looking.
Right, so I've chosen all of my monsters, and I'm pretty confident I can actually win this battle. All I have to do now is stand back and wait to see what happens. Oop, J Prime's coming out. <laughs> I like how his son's always like anxious and not very confident, it's great. Oh yeah, yeah, um, what game I was going to cover next. I was thinking about doing another PlayStation game, but the thing is, like, I've got plenty of PlayStation games to be playing, but I'm not sure which one. Like, I really am not sure. I'm going to be straight up with you guys and say I'm definitely not doing a Final Fantasy or Sweet Code end game because they've been covered to death. You don't really need another guy doing those those games because it's just pointless. I'd be adding to a whole sea of noise. Don't call me. We'll be getting some sass. From Super Wolf. But yeah, um Like I I was also thinking about doing some PS2 games as well because I've got a ton of PS2 games. Like almost three hundred of them. <laughs> so I really wanna actually like do movie really RPGs that I have on the PS2. Um so if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Um, I apologise if I'm not commentating very much on this fight, but at the moment not that much is going on. Oh, here we go! Jade Pine just calls the one a non-entity. You almost killed him too. Oh, here we go. I think... I think Super Wolf's gonna kill Steel here. Zap that wolf. Yep. Not that I'm complaining, of course, because at the end of the day, I just want these fuckers out of my way so I can con concentrate on the mission. That's the thing with this game monsters don't gain XP, but you occasionally do get seeds and solutions for defeating random hordes of monsters or enemy rulers. But, you know, so you don't want to, like, keep getting into fights if your monsters are getting like to the end of their lifespan. But it's good to save one of your monsters that's near the end of their lifespan for a really tough boss battle so it kills the boss with the monster's ultimate magic. Is it me or is J Prime being rubbed up the wrong way today? He's calling everybody a non-entity. It's like you are not entity, you must die. This guy's actually starting to get on my tits actually. Oh Christ, there's another gas attack. Great. That's the problem with MP attacks, like a lot of people generally tend to beef up the HP of their monsters a lot in this game. Focus a little bit on the MP too. You need some monsters that are good at attacking the MP because a lot of, uh, especially a lot of late level monsters, they're very very strong HP wise and you need to kind of deal with it sort of thing. If you want like easy victory, especially against enemy rulers I've noticed later on, like, you can effectively kill enemy rulers in like one or two hits if you've got like a really good MP attacking monster. Not really much I can do here, I'm kind of stuck in a cave. Like Osama Bin Laden. Yes, he's dead. Look at that monster's name, it's ridiculous. Not J Prime, I mean the actual wolf. DEATH BLOW! Oh, maybe not. There's a very agile leap there by the wolf. 
<laughs> Looks like I'm going to be the key kill stealer this time. Punch that wolf right inside the head. I wouldn't suggest doing that in real life. Like go up to some fucking magical wolf looking motherfucker and just like literally dragon punch him in the side of the fucking temple. Well, we won, so that's the main thing, I guess. Ooh, we got a seed and a couple of nice items, too. That's good. If you're wondering about the jump cut, it's because I actually have to answer the phone, and I didn't particularly want you guys sat at a pause screen for three minutes. If you're wondering why I'm looking at this uh, blocked-up entrance to the mine, well, that's why I need to go through part two of this mission. But we'll get on to that a bit later because we've still got part one to finish yet. Yay! More treasure chests which I'm probably going to have to jump off a moving minecart and collect and keep going round in circles in this stupid mine for ages. Fantastic! Monster Seed everybody! Nah, I love this game really, it's just... I don't know, there's some things they could have done better in this game I suppose. That's why they call it a rough gem and not a masterpiece. At the moment I am actually trying to look for the minecart so I can actually get around the area a bit quicker, but not having very much luck so far, it has to be said. I'm also having a lot of fun jumping off of the uh, ledge for no apparent reason. <laughs> God knows why I hit the select button there, but... Moving on. At the moment, basically, all I'm trying to do is move towards the right as much as I can, and if I can't go to the right, I go either up or down, then move to the right. Well, this has come to the end of this part of the video, so I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs>